I just wanted to briefly uh, touch here in audio form on how Sly 2 Band of Thieves is really a masterclass in how to tell a story for all ages. So look, those who know the channel know that Sly 2 is one of my absolute favorite games of all time. Um, I think it's brilliant in every way, uh, including in its gameplay and its humor um, and its ability to know when to get serious. Um, the characters, everything about Sly 2 I love, but what we're going to focus on specifically here today is how Sly manages to tell a story for all ages. So when playing this game as a child, right, things like the spice in Dimitri's nightclub, um, things like the spice production from Rajan, things like the uh, tearing up of the woods uh, from Jean Bisson, and of course the traumatizing end with Bentley's uh, paralysis uh, and his injury, they all come across as child appropriate somehow. Um, they, they work. That's because Sly manages to weave its story in a way that a child maybe doesn't understand the full gravity, but it's still an appealing story. Whereas replaying it as an adult, I picked up on so much more of the nuance and the gravity behind these mature themes that were weaved into this game. Um, you know, obviously Bentley's paralysis is more than just him getting injured. And, you know, to a kid, it may seem like Bentley just simply getting hurt, right? But as an adult, you really understand the gravity of like Bentley sacrificed everything to help the Cooper gang. And now he is paying the price with his body. He'll never walk again. Um, that's why leaving the gear behind was so, you know, telling. Uh, when you look at this story as an adult. Dimitri's nightclub spice and Rajan's spice production clearly is a metaphor for drug, illegal drug trade. And then we now know that John Bisson's environmental, um, you know, is basically an environmental terrorist. He's destroying the world, you know, which as an adult we can see is um, a metaphor for climate change, everything that we're dealing with um, as a society now. So Sly 2 managed to, again weave in all of these darker more mature themes but somehow present it in a way that a kid would still appreciate the moment without being traumatized or fully understand the gravity of it in a way I and mean, i think that's why it's just so brilliant that's why the story holds up so much and that's why i replay this game all the time because it just it just is amazing mixed in with all its quippy humor and comic book pizzazz is just this wave of emotion and things that adults can relate to today. Um, so yeah, Sly 2 Band of Thieves, it knows how to tell a story for all ages. In fact, it's probably the best example I can think of uh, in a video game doing that. So I just wanted to uh, let you guys kind of hear my thoughts on that. Thanks for watching. Autobot Dawson Gaming rolling out.